Hi guys, Kajak here and we're back again and this time we're doing another sort of casual, passive, old army gold making video. Okay, I wanted to get a couple of these sort of videos onto the channel because I had a lot of people coming into the stream recently, a lot of people asking in the comments are sort of they're not familiar with the new profession system of Addison Strike and Flying or we've also had some people that sort of aren't managing to make any sort of profits and just want to be able to claw anything back from the profession system. So that's what this is. This is a really, like last time, a really simple, easy, low investment cost, quick to return that investment sort of passion build that is very easy to set up for anybody. And hopefully this can help some of those that haven't touched with a new profession system before, get into professions, get used to new systems, and then hopefully in future, then they might be able to be more active crackers or something like that. So like the last time, this is a build where we are trying to use rank two materials and concentration to craft rank three spell threads at a profit. Just like last time, I'll have the treasures for tailoring running in the background on the footage. So you can just run around, grab those, 10, 15 minute job, and that's your first 24 knowledge for this setup already. Like last time, I said it's quite a low barrier to entry. So this time we need about 60 profession skill. We need about 50 profession knowledge. And just like last time, we need our uncommon profession tools and make sure you get the tool with multi-craft in it. Like I said last time, if you're on a low or medium population server and these are expensive, then just go to a high population server and buy them, chuck them in your warband bank, transfer them over, and it can save you a lot of gold doing that. Now, so we're gonna run around we're going to get those treasures. Once we have those eight treasures, we are then going to go and buy the knowledge book with our Addison's Acuity. So that's going to give us 10 more knowledge. Then if you have rank 12 with the Council Reputation, so that's the one from the first zone, then you can also buy an additional 10 knowledge points from the Quartermaster, and that's only going to cost you 50 Addison's Acuity. So anyone that's done that will have an advantage. This build will just be significantly easier for you. This time in leveling, I want you to hit every first time craft, except for the two bags, unless you want the bags yourself, okay? We don't need the knowledge points from these and they're expensive to craft, but if you want them for yourself, sure, go for it, but it is increasing your costs. The only other things we're not crafting are the two things that require artisan security, so that's the fishing line and the tailoring coat that unlocks at about 50 profession skill. Now remember, you can use the filter in the top left hand corner to make sure you don't miss any first time crafts. Once you have got all the first time crafts that I've said to get, you can then make weaver cloth embroidery thread and make this till about 60 skill. It should stay yellow all the way there. And so once you've got that 60 skill, then you're set up. From there, from all the knowledge you have collected and this skill up and your profession tools, you're good to go now. As far as the profession spec goes, there are two versions of it. Whichever version you're going for, you are always gonna to need to unlock quality fabric and you need to put 30 points into spell thread. So that is mandatory for this build, whichever way you are doing it. So for the second part, you're gonna unlock the From Dusk Until Dawn tray. And this is where you have the choice. You can go either way. So on one side, you've got Dusk Weave tailoring and the other side, you've got Dawn Weave tailoring and they both make different spell threads. So you're gonna put zero points in the From Dusk Till Dawn at the top, and then you're gonna put 20 points into the next node, which is the Dusk Weave or the Dawn Weave Tailoring. And at the 20 points, that's what unlocks your spell thread recipe. If after you've allocated the 30 points into spell thread and the 20 points into either Dusk Weave or Dawn Weave Tailoring, then, and you have any knowledge points left over, you can put, the, you can put five more points into Dusk Weave or Dawn Weave Tailoring, and then any other points you have left over, you can just chuck them into from dusk till dawn at the top of the tree. But to be fair, you don't need that much knowledge for this build. Now, from here, you can see that we can, I can't quite craft with rank two materials. You might reach this point where you're sort of just on the border. In this situation, you may need to use some rank three spools just to get you over to the line to make sure it's a guaranteed rank two craft that you can then use your concentration on to make it a rank three. This is a temporary problem. So as you make the spell threads, as you can see in the footage, I skill up more and more 
and it becomes less and less of an issue. So I use less spools. And then by the time I've made the second spell thread, I've leveled up my progression skill so much that I can then craft it using only rank two materials. And this was a character that did not get the 10 bonus knowledge points from the council reputation. So if you get that, then you definitely won't have that issue. These have a crafting cost at the moment of around four to 5K on the EU. And they're selling for sort of nine and a half to 10K. So you make about 5K gold per craft. As usual, you can make about two of these every time you use your concentration. So it's about 10K profit. Now that's assuming no multi-craft procs. If you do get any multi-craft procs, then that's obviously gonna dramatically increase the amount of gold you make from this. It doesn't cost a lot to set up. Like last time, it's gonna return your investment very quickly. So in a week, you should pretty much be in profit already. And then from there, so hopefully for weeks and weeks and weeks to come, then you'll make lots of gold from it then. So I hope this helps. If you are finding these videos useful, just let me know in the comments, especially if you want any more doing, because I can have a look at other stuff perhaps, but I do think the two I've done so far are pretty good for the majority of players in that I think they're the sort of two of the safer bets when it comes to concentration builds and hopefully holding their value over time. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.